Up until now, we've discussed mainly the pattern recognition applications of ANDs. In particular, we've looked at images presented as shown in the diagram on the screen, with each pixel being assigned to a separate input and each output to a separate pattern. We have already discussed the importance of patterns in general to intelligence in earlier videos, and the wider applications to face recognition, for example, should be obvious. Patterns, however, have a wider meaning than just pictures. For example, they could be patterns of sensor readings on a machine, indicating a particular fault. Let's say a broken rotor in a motor, or a broken turbine blade in a jet engine. This is shown in the diagram on the screen. We can also recognise patterns in waveforms, or in time. This is sometimes called time domain or time series data. We do this by feeding samples into the network, as shown in the diagram on the screen. This type of data includes audio, or the waveforms which for example result from heartbeat monitoring, or the trends in long-term sensor readings. Since we can train the output of a network to give any response to an input simply by changing the targets, the outputs don't necessarily have to simply indicate which pattern is at the input. They could produce any sort of desired output. A good example of this is to control something. This is illustrated for a robot in the diagram shown on the screen. In this case, the outputs are controlling motors. We can generalise this even further if we consider that each pattern is simply a particular set of specific inputs, and training a network is really just the act of training it to map an arbitrary input to a set of arbitrary outputs, as shown in the diagram. You might ask then, what is the difference between the neural net and any other general mapping system, for example digital electronics or digital logic? The answer, of course, is that the network can learn. No one has to design it as such. Certainly not in the way that digital logic or digital circuitry has to be designed in detail by a human being. Understanding that the network is a general mapping device opens up other applications as well. A good example of these is the one we've just mentioned, control. Just as you adjust the P, I and D terms of a simple controller to tune your system, so a neural net can learn a control function through its training, as shown in the diagram. Another mapping application is prediction. We can input the current system state and train the network to output its prediction for the next state effectively using the network as a simulator trained by example. I'm sure that you can think of other applications that are many hundreds. In the next video, we look at one which I believe will be particularly important in the future.